With how cold it was this morning and how cold it's going to get tomorrow, I'm starting to believe Punxsutawneyville was right about six more weeks of uh, winter, Mary. So what do we have ahead? What are we really bracing for here? You'll have a different view by the end of my forecast. Really? Okay, and good. You'll because see why, I'm, but I don't want to give it away because I really trust him. Right? I know, right? There's a there's he's only right like 39% of the time. Uh, I'd say I'm right about like 95, right? <laughs> so we have plenty of sunshine out there right now and 30 degrees. So temperatures will be near normal. We have winds out of the south southwest about 10 miles an hour. That's pumping in some warmer air. That's why we're in the 30s, but with those winds, it's going to feel colder. It's feeling in the 20s, but that's just it's not as cold as it's going to get. So we'll brace ourselves for some Arctic air that's going to be moving in, but we are quiet through today. We are dry for now until overnight when snow showers arrive. So enjoy the sunshine, even though we're feeling in the 20s, our actual temperature right around that freezing mark, but with wind speeds at about 10 to 15 miles an hour, we're going to be dealing with those wind chills, even in the teens for some areas when you factor in wind gusts picking up at about 25 miles an hour. So it's going to be very blustery really for the next 48 hours all the way through Saturday morning morning. It's going to be very frigid. So right now feeling in the upper teens in Connellsville, 22 in Franklin, 25 is that wind chill in Butler. So we're in for a roller coaster and I'll tell you why. So temperatures today, upper 30s for our high. We'll feel in the upper 20s and then at midnight we will still be in the upper 20s, but then temperatures will fall through the day. So tomorrow morning we're waking up in the teens just where we were this morning. We started off at 15, but it will feel in the single digits and even below zero when you're going out. So make sure you bring your pets inside. Bundle up the kiddos at the bus stop. You do not want to be outside for a long period of time. So once we get to Friday into the afternoon, temperatures are still going to be in the teens. We're going to continue to see those fall. Wind chills in the single digits, sub zero wind chills all the way through Saturday morning, but then that warm air, it comes in hot, pun, pun intended there, but we're actually going to see those highs back to the 30s and in the 40s. So let me time this out for you in future cast. We will still have some snow showers around, so two things, snow showers plus the cold temperatures, and that's going to move in right around midnight. So you could have some slick spots if you're traveling tonight and also tomorrow morning's commute. doesn't look like it's going to be much accumulation, but enough to have some icy roadways because temperatures are not going to be warming up. So once we get to 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we're we're in the teens, high temperatures are only in the mid teens, and then single digit wind chills through Saturday morning, even sub zero, our actual temperatures in the single digits. But then Saturday afternoon, we finally warm up and we're actually looking at a little taste of spring very soon. So today, enjoy the sunshine. And then tomorrow, once those scattered snow showers wrap up in the afternoon, it's still going to be cold through the day. The sun will be out, but it will certainly be deceiving. Saturday morning, the last cold morning we'll have for a while, 34 for the high Saturday. And then look at that Sunday, 43. 44 on Monday. Jess is probably like, hmm, maybe he wasn't right after all. And then we're at 53 degrees on Tuesday. And by Wednesday, temperatures will be in the mid 50s and even near 60 for some.